In this beginner's guide to custom dimensions in Google Analytics, we're going to cover what you need to know about custom dimensions and how you can use them on your WordPress site. So let's get started. Every Google Analytics report contains two types of data, dimensions and metrics. Dimensions are the attributes of your website's visitors. For example, what city they're from, what page they viewed, and what source that they came from. And metrics are the measurements of what they're doing on your site. Now that includes things like the number of sessions, page views, and the pages per session. Google Analytics tracks predefined dimensions by default, and that includes things like gender, age, region, session medium, and page title. And Google has predefined metrics, too. Those are things like the sessions, engaged users, and conversion. But what if you'd like to track more dimensions? That means you'll need to set up custom dimensions. Custom dimensions are just like the default dimensions, except you create them yourself. Google Analytics does not track things like authors, categories, and tags by default. All right, so now let's look at a few possible use cases for custom dimensions on your WordPress site. By using the logged in sessions dimension, you can get insights into how many of your users are logging in. If you have an e-commerce site, for example, you can create reports about the top pages or revenue of your logged in users. If you're running a membership site, you can set up user ID as a custom dimension. It gives you detailed data about your logged in users' interactions and preferences. If you don't set up a custom dimension for user IDs, then Google's going to assign a random app instance ID to your visitors. But if you use Monster Insights, we'll replace that ID with your user's unique ID for even better tracking. To create a user explorer report in Google Analytics 4, just navigate to the Explore tab, then click the arrow over to find User Explorer. If you click on that report, you're going to see your user ID under the app instance ID column instead of Google's random ID. You can track each of your post types performance on your site using custom post type dimensions. So for example, if you're running a product review site with several categories, you can define each product category as a custom post type. Then you can gather valuable data about how users are interacting with each category. If you have several authors on your blog, then you can set up custom dimensions for authors. This is going to help you identify the type of content that works best for each of your authors, and it's going to help you determine which author resonates best with your visitors. Using a custom dimension for your authors, you can discover the most popular author for your blog, how many page views each of your authors is getting. You can analyze engagement time and see which of your author's posts are keeping your visitors on your site longer and a lot more. Tracking categories can help you identify the kind of content and topics that works best on your site. Now, this can save you both time and money and allow you to focus on the ones that are working best. We've got a great article on how to track WordPress categories in Google Analytics. I'll leave a link in the description. You can use the Best Publication Times report to see posts that get the most traffic according to the date that they're published. Now, this report's going to help you figure out the best time to publish your posts so they'll get more traction and views. Tracking tags allows you to get more detailed insights about what works best on your site. Tracking tags allows you to see what type of content your readers like best at a keyword level. Now, that's going to help you come up with content ideas for the future based on which tags are the most popular. If you're using the All-in-One SEO plugin, you can analyze the true SEO score of your posts and pages in Google Analytics. And you can use that report to see how your SEO scores are impacting your organic traffic. You can use the SEO scores report to improve your SEO strategy and boost your organic traffic. If you're using the Yoast SEO plugin, you can set up custom dimensions for the SEO score. Setting a focus key phrase or focus keyword custom dimension is great if you're using all-in-one SEO or Yoast. By setting a focus key phrase for each piece of content on your site, you can optimize it for search engines. And then you can see the most popular all-in-one focus key phrases that are driving the most organic traffic. Now, this is going to help you choose the content for upcoming posts. If you're using the Yoast SEO plugin, you can set up a custom dimension for focus keywords. If you look up how to set up a custom dimension in Google Analytics support, you're going to see this. After you create custom dimensions or metrics in your property, you must also modify your tracking code. This should be completed by a qualified developer. Now, with Monster Insights, you can skip all that, and you can set up a whole list of custom dimensions with a couple of clicks and without doing any coding at all. Monster Insights allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4. That way, you can see all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. And with just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features such as event tracking and e-commerce tracking. 
Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links, media, and a whole lot more. To get started, you'll need to install Monster Insights. Be sure to choose the license level that has the features that you're going to need. Or you can just get started with our light version from the WordPress repository. For this tutorial, we'll be using Monster Insights Pro. So let's look at how to install Monster Insights Pro on a WordPress website. First, you'll need to head over to Monster Insights pricing page and select Monster Insights Pro. Now, once you're all signed up, you'll need to go to your account area and then head over to the Download tab. And once you're there, you'll need to download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Next, log into your WordPress site. And then on the admin sidebar, click Plugins and then select Add New and then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. All right, now you can either choose File or just drag and drop the zip file here and click Install Now. Once that's done, just activate the Monster Insights plugin. Okay, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics 4 or Universal Analytics or both to your site. Now don't worry, just follow the steps in the setup wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without needing to edit any code. If you'd like more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. All right, once you've installed, activated, and connected Monster Insights to Google Analytics on your WordPress site, it's easy to install the Dimensions add-on. Just go to your admin sidebar, then to Insights, and then to Add-ons. Once a page loads, click the Dimensions add-on and click Install. Now you'll need to add custom dimensions in Monster Insights. Now to do that, just navigate to Insights, then to Settings, and then click on the Conversions tab. Now you'll need to scroll down to find the Custom Dimensions box. Now click into the drop-down and select Author as a dimension type. Monster Insights will then automatically save your changes. All right, now this next step is only for those of you who are using Universal Analytics. So if you're using GA4, you can skip this step. Our insights will need to set them up in Google Analytics as well. So to do that, log into your Analytics account. Next, click on the Admin tab in the left panel. Now click Custom Definitions and then Custom Dimensions. Then you'll see a table where you can click the plus New Custom Dimension. Now, in the Name field, enter Author and click Create. And you don't have to change any other settings. Then click Done. Now, if you're using GA4, you can also skip this next step. So this step is to make sure that the index number in Google Analytics matches the custom dimension ID in Monster Insights. So first, you'll need to check the index number for Author in your Analytics account, and then go back to the custom dimension settings in Monster Insights. And then all you have to do is just make sure that the custom dimension ID matches the index number in Analytics. If it doesn't match, then all you have to do is just type the correct number and click Save Changes. Now Monster Insights will automatically begin tracking the different authors on your site and display a sessions report right inside your WordPress dashboard. Now you can see the report by going to your admin sidebar and then to Insights, then to Reports, and then just select Dimensions at the top. Now you can see the most popular authors that generate the most traffic on your site. All right, to get even more data about your authors, you can use GA4. Monster Insight sets up a custom dimension for you, so you'll be able to use the author dimension in custom reports without touching a line of code. Now to see those metrics, you'll need to build a custom exploration report. Now, if you've not done that yet, you'll want to be sure to check out the link in the description to our handy guide on how to create custom reports in GA4. All right, to get started creating a custom dimensions report, you'll need to go to your Analytics account and then to the Explore tab. Once the Explorations page loads, you'll need to start a new custom exploration report by clicking on the blank template. Next, give your report a name. Now you'll need to select and import your dimensions. Now to import dimensions, click on the plus button next to dimensions, and then either use the search function or the drop-down menu and click on the box next to each dimension to select it. So for this report, we'll be selecting author and page title. Now once you've chosen your dimensions, just click the import button at the top right. 
Next, you'll need to select and import your metrics. So click the plus button next to metrics. And again, you can either use the search or drop down function to locate each one. Then click on the box next to each metric to select it, just as you did before. So in this report, we'll be using views and conversions. Once you've chosen all the metrics you need, just be sure to click the import button at the top right. Finally, click and drag the author dimension into the rows box. And click and drag the views metric into the values box. Now you have a report of authors sorted by page view. To break down the report even further, you can try dragging the page title dimension into rows and drag the conversions metric into values. Now you'll see which pages belong to each author and whether those authors and pages led to any conversions. Now to access the author tracking data and search by author in Universal Analytics, you'll need to create a custom report by navigating to Customization, then to Custom Reports, in the Report Content section, you'll need to specify your preferred metric group. So in the Dimensions drill downs, add Author as your dimension. Then click Save. Now this is going to show you a custom report with Author as a primary dimension. You can customize your traffic report by choosing Author as a secondary dimension. So in Google Analytics, you'll need to navigate to Behavior, then to Site Content, and then to All Pages. Now click on any primary dimension, for example, page title. Then choose author as a secondary dimension. This is going to add the author column to the report that you're looking at. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to Google Analytics custom dimensions. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites are using us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.